Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Spilling Coffee Beans Thursday. This week's theme is July favorites, and I honestly cannot believe that it is August already. July was a complete whirlwind for me, and not a lot of my favorite things happened in July. But I am excited to share a few things with you, because I like to stay positive and think about the good things that happened even during a stressful month. Um, so I have a short list here to go through with you. And so let's uh, spill some beans. The first thing on my list of favorite things from July will surprise no one, especially if you watched my video from last week, because right now, live on television on Sunday nights on Showtime is my very favorite television show of all time, Twin Peaks. Um, and so every single Sunday night, we have been very much enjoying having conversations about that and then later in the week talking with friends. We talk, we talk about Twin Peaks all week, basically, actually. That's true. I'm not apologizing for that, but it is, it, it, it is. In addition to that, on Sunday nights, we are also watching on HBO over at a friend's house every Sunday night, Game of Thrones. Like my new, this is my newest Funko Pop, this uh, season seven, Cersei Lannister. Um, and we love both these shows and we talk about them to an embarrassing degree with our friends. Let me know if you're interested in ever chattering like that with us. Um, so those are my favorite TV shows right now. Um, I'm sure I will be in a dark, deep hole without television starting in September when both of these shows are over. So let me know what kind of shows you think I should watch um, down in the comments. Another of my favorite things uh, this month was a birthday gift that I received from a friend who I had been complaining that um, I haven't been journaling and that I have a hard time coming up with ideas. Kind of like having a hard time to come... What? English. I teach English. <laughs> I also have a difficult time coming up with themes for videos. Um, and so she sent me this journal and it's called the Q&A a Day 5 Year Journal. And I, I just... just I'm, I'm a book geek so I love just everything about the font and the cover and the shiny gold embossing on the edges of the pages. And basically it has like a question for every day and five spaces to fill it out. So this is a five year little journal and I can go through and compare my answers year to year. And I just think it's just such a fun idea. And um, I, don't, I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. I've done pretty much a month of prompts so far and um, I really like them. I'm not gonna share that part with you, but I really enjoy them. It's been a very nice gift and I think it's a very great gift idea to give someone in your life who um, wants to journal but doesn't want to commit to writing like essays and essays and essays and is this oh it is still recording <laughs> maybe that means I should stop rambling and drink some more coffee okay next favorite thing was also a birthday gift to me it's my favorite accessory kind of thing and that is this amazing lunch bag that was gifted to me on a birthday by a dear friend and it's a fully insulated lunch bag and I didn't actually have a lunch bag before I kind of just like packed Tupperware in like a crock cloth grocery bag so this has actually been a fun little um, thing for me to do and it has this very cute keychain attached and this is from the maker Salvatore Kitty obviously I love the name and it's all uh, part of the proceeds from all of her sales uh, go to animal charities so love and also because duh it's a sloth and I, I think it's the artist's own artwork and then she creates the, this fabric and these bags. It was a really wonderful and useful and cool gift. So that is my favorite accessory this month. Um, I have two favorite snacks this month. Ooh, I hope I didn't just kill that. <laughs> First, as usual, fresh peaches. Right now they're everywhere and they're affordable and I'm gonna eat a million of them and soon they'll be gone but I love fresh peaches. I love them so much. And also ice cream, but I don't have any of that to show you because I ate every tiny bit of it like a giant pig. It was good too, I'm not sorry. All right, so my favorite beauty product this month are these little uh, lip stain markers. Um, I have one by NYC and uh, these two are by e.l.f. Um, I love these. I don't wear foundation makeup uh, in the summer because it's just 
ridiculous. It's just too sweaty. I ride a bike everywhere. So with these, I can just put on a little bit of eye makeup and then use one of these to give myself just... Now I'm going to say this to you. Just a little bit of a darker natural looking-ish lip color. Natural maybe is not the adjective I'm looking for. But you know, to pop my lips out a little bit more when I'm getting hot and kind of like colorless because I'm not using any kind of um, contouring or makeup on my face in the summer. Um, so I really enjoy these. They don't last actually um, as long as they say they do on the packaging, um, but I drink a lot of water and coffee throughout the day, so that affects that, I'm sure. But they do last several hours, so I don't have to apply them frequently at all. Um, and so those are really handy and um, efficient. And I know everyone now is doing lip scents and it looks very cool. But please don't ask me to join your group. I'm on a couple already. And if I could afford to buy some, I absolutely would. Because it does look like a very great product. Uh, but in the meantime, I will use my very cheap lip stain markers. Um, what else did I have on my list uh, for things today? Oh, my favorite place I went um, this month in July was really fun. I actually went for work on a swamp tour with my students. And in the past, I have taken students on walking swamp tours uh, in a national park nearby. Um, but this year, because I had a very large group and I was able to rent a school bus, uh, I was able to take the students to a tour that I had never been on before on a flat, bo flat bottom boat out in the actual swamp. Um, and it was really exciting. Like, I knew I would like it because I love being outdoors in nature and I love alligators and animals and and birds and and so I knew I would enjoy that but it was really fun and uh, like the captain of the boat would go like really really fast actually through some sections and um, pardon me so it was very very exciting um, and then there was like a monsoon style very Louisiana style downpour halfway through and we all got completely drenched while like flying through the swamp on this on this flat bottom boat but many of the students did not have a great sense of humor about it but I thought it was hilarious and like being on a, a really cool epic water ride I it was really great um so that was really really fun and of course I got to see a lot of alligators and birds and raccoons and feral pigs which I knew lived um in some regions around here but I didn't know they actually lived in the swamp that was pretty cool um so that was my favorite like place I went this month uh that was very cool it was called Honey Island Swamp Tour if you're ever in this area and want to go on a tour uh, that was pretty fun um, and what else did I have on this list oh songs so I've been riding my bike a lot to work um, and just in general is extra because I I can't really exercise a lot right now because my sciatica has gotten so bad and bicycling fortunately is one thing I can do and I love riding my bike and I listen to music and podcasts like crazy I am listening to a Game of Thrones podcast that I had not listened to until very recently and is called History of Westeros. It's really good, especially if you also enjoy the books. I know a couple of you have commented previously when I talk about Game of Thrones that you like the show, but you really like the books better. And I feel like it's a, it's a podcast that really addresses both uh, book reality and show reality. I do tend to think of them as separate things. Um, and then two songs that have been like epically and constantly in my head, but not in a bad way are um, No Stars, which is a song by Rebecca Del Rio that was for an episode of Twin Peaks a couple of weeks ago, and it's just really haunting. I mean, it's, 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 it's a very slow, um, beautiful, kind of dramatic song, but so it's not something that you're gonna wanna like dance to, but I don't know something about like listening to it while I'm riding my bike down the street, um, especially on a really quiet evening after a long day of work. It's been really nice. I've really enjoyed that song. And, um, what was the other song? Oh yes, um, the song Let the Mystery Be by Iris Dement, who I have always loved and kind of lost track of for a while. And then uh, remembered that this is the song that she, that was used, it's, a, it's an Iris Dement song, but it was used on the opening credits of season two of The Leftovers. Um, and it really struck a chord with me and I think it has kind of felt appropriate for how I've been feeling throughout the month of July. So I've listened to it a million times. I'm learning to play it on the ukulele. Hopefully I will make a video of that soon for my other channel. Um, and so that song, Let the Mystery Be by Iris Dement. And I will link both uh, videos for both of those songs down in the comments. Um, did I have any other favorite things? Not on my list. 
But um, I had my favorite birthday in a while in July. Uh, I turned 40. Um, I did not make a video or a big to do like that about my birthday. I went out and had some shenanigans with just a few close friends and it was really nice. Um, um, yeah, I got a little bit older and you know, you never notice that in the moment. But I guess that was my favorite birthday for a while, even though I didn't win the lottery on my birthday, maybe next year. So anyway, those are my favorites for July. I'm very excited to see y'all's favorites uh, for July. And please check out the other wonderful participants in Spilling Coffee Beans. I will link the playlist in the description box as well as the Facebook group if you would like to join us in making these videos every Thursday. I appreciate you being here so much and I will see you soon.